Hello, friends. I am so glad to meet you. My name is Judy Herman, author of Beyond Messy Relationships. I want to share with you why I spent two chapters of my book. It's on chapters five and chapters seven, why I spent two chapters on the issues of guilt and shame. I'm also a mental health counselor and relationship specializing in relationships, but this is a really core issue. Now, my book, it's a memoir. It's a very intense and dramatic memoir. I write about myself rather than what most therapists write about is the intense and dramatic stories of their clients. But I'm telling you, there's so much that we can learn from each other and our stories. And I do show up as a therapist at the beginning of each of the chapters, so it's not at just a memoir, you will be able to really relate and see yourself in some of these stories. But what I want to share with you is a real core issue that I've seen for so many years, not just in my counseling office, in personal relationships. And I want to demonstrate what I believe is going on in the human mind and in the brain. Because what we have, we have this reptilian brain, this reptilian part of ourselves that shows up in relationships and it can make our relationships worse. So there's two things, first of all, is to understand this concept about how to get out of that unconscious sleepy state of being and treating your thoughts and your partner or your marriage and your life as a habitual habit day in and day out, that the difference between that and becoming more conscious and becoming aware. And that's why it's so important to take deep breaths of air so that you can tune in and be more aware and silent the reptilian mode, the reptile part of the brain that only knows the difference between danger and safety. And it does not know the difference between you and other, and it's an unconscious way of being. Now I'm going to show you, remember in geometry class years ago in high school, we have this, this concept of a line and it goes continuous in one direction and continuous in another. So we're thinking of a horizontal line right now, okay? And so I want to demonstrate what the reptilian heading uh, is, is on one side and the, and the awareness is on the other. And this is the best way I can do this. <laughs> So, so here's what I use. I use this little reptile. Ah, it's backwards when I look at the screen. I use this little reptile in my counseling a lot when couples are arguing and their blood pressure is going up and I just show them, ah, this is showing up. We are human beings. We need to be more aware, right? I don't quite say it like that because <laughs> when we're in that mode, we're really not ready to hear it like that. But what we want to do is we, if we've got, if we got reptilian ways of being and reacting on one end of this geometry line and the other one, the world representing awareness, representing that there's a bigger life and a bigger story, representing that what's going on with you right this moment in this reptilian mode is not the whole story. <laughs> so so we could we could identify this, right, as like Folks, people that live in this direction, like Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa, you know, uh, just people that are really aware and in tune, historical people that we know about, and some other folks in this modern day that we would think, wow, they're really in tune and really aware. And then on the other end, we have um, just like totally out of tune and, and, and not necessarily, I mean, the more you go out of tune with reality, the, the more evil that can occur, right? And, and we don't want to be operating. We can hurt people's feelings and not mean to, but we're out, out of tune with reality. So wherever we are on this line, <laughs> this continuum line, some of us may be in this heading like closer here, and some of us might be over here, okay? But no matter where you are on this line, let's just say you're right here, okay? Because our, our whole authentic journey, it, it, we're growing, hopefully growing in more awareness. But see, we can be either going in the direction of, of our reactions. Ah, got my, got my um, little arrow there. We can be heading in that, no matter where we are, what direction are we facing? Maybe we've made some poor decisions. Maybe we've made some react, we did, you know, reacted when we should have responded. 
right? And it just then it inches us and we're heading in that direction. Whereas we can be over here or wherever on the line and we can be headed in this direction, this representing truth, representing reality. This represents fantasy, getting out of tune and, and, and chaos. This represents chaos. This represents being in tune and peace and there is a bigger picture. So here's the thing, guilt is a human emotion, I believe is God given emotion. And the purpose of guilt is if we are heading or facing this direction, if we are facing the direction of the reptile, then guilt's purpose is to face us, do an about face and to face us into this direction of reality and grace and love and consciousness, conscious way of relating. So if we can look at it like that, that's what guilt is designed to do. Well, after we have made an about face, okay, let's say you, you maybe you were involved in, you had an alcohol problem and you go to AA group and then, and you kind of get like, okay, you get, you become aware of your stinking thinking and you make some choices and you're heading now in this way of truth, right? That's, that's an example. But the guilt that that got us in this about face now then is no longer needed. That particular guilt for that particular thing is no longer needed. So we don't need to keep going and going. And a lot of people hang on to guilt. And when they hang on to it, most of the time it's false guilt. What is this guilt? Why is this hanging out so long? And it likely is what you call shame. Instead of, okay, I did, uh, you know, I did a bad thing. You shame says I am a bad thing. So you identify too much with that. And of course, we're all human beings and we all need to learn and grow and how to be shame resilient, right? But, and if we didn't have any shame at all, then likely we might be a psychopath, right? So we feel this in our gut. It's physiological and we feel it. So take the deep breath and let that guilt go, make an about turn and go into the direction of truth and reality. Learn how to forgive yourself. Learn how not to live in the past. Learn how to not worry about the future. And when you do start, you could just take your deep breaths and get grounded again, okay? But that's the purpose of guilt is to give us an about face in our lives. So I hope this is helpful to you. I spent a couple chapters, five and seven in my book. And like I said, you're not getting just a story you're getting, you're getting making sense of your story. You're making sense of how you can get beyond messy relationships and how you can be aware and notice those divine invitations to your authentic self. So that's what I want to leave with you. But also I've got another announcement to make. I'm so excited about it. On May the 6th, we are starting another group and it's called From Chaos to calm. <laughs> so remember this, from chaos <laughs> to calm, how to have a rhythm of, of moving toward that calm and that peace and having the skills with which to do it. Now, if you're interested, go to my website and I put the link in there, judycounselor.com. And then you're also going to need to fill out a, an application because it is just for those in the Chattanooga area at this point, and it's for women only. And you need to fill out an application because I, I can only take seven at a time. Time. So this is something that if you are, if you resonate with this and you want some help with this, I'd like to tell you more about it. So thanks so much for joining me. It is Counseling Awareness Month. And of course, everything I shared is not a substitute for counseling, professional counseling services, but do get my book if you've not already read it and, and read those chapters, especially on guilt and shame and take your deep breaths because you are so worth this authentic journey. Thank you so much for joining me.